now it's time to check the Sanyo M4500 for power output and right now I've got the signal generator warmed up and I'm going to feed in a 1000 Hertz sine wave right now it's at uh, 1 millivolt RMS and I've got that hooked up into the phono inputs you can see here I've got the my cable coming and I've got that hooked up to my adapters here and also I've got I'm using the external speaker uh, jacks and I've got those wires hooked up to my dummy load and, I, and I've got the dummy load in the 4 ohm position since the external speakers are supposed to be 4 ohms also I'm using the oscilloscope it's kind of hard to make sense of it here in this jumble of wires but anyways I've got the oscilloscope hooked up across both channels and here you can see my scope it's ready to go and as far as the unit itself is concerned, I've got it in the phono position, I've got the bass and treble neutral position, and right now I've got the volume control turned all the way down. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn it all the way up. So I've got it up for maximum, and <clears throat> I'm starting to get a little reading. I want to go up to 2 millivolts. Of course, I'm only feeding in really low, a really low signal because it's the phono input and it doesn't take very much to drive it. Three. Also, I forgot to mention I have the scope set up for one volt per division. Right now, I'm up to nine, ten, fifteen millivolts. Nine. 20, 20, 21, 22, 23 millivolts. Okay, it's starting to break out there. I'm going to go ahead and bring it down. Whoops. Mm, hit the wrong button here, so got to go back up. There we go. So, 23, 22, I think I can leave it at there, and I'm reading 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, um, I think one channel is slightly, putting out slightly more than the other one, let's say about 5.4. I would say 5.4 volts peak to peak. In fact, here's both of these signals together. I've got one uh, superimposed on the other. So let's just say it's about 5.4 volts peak to peak then. So let's do the math. I think that was 5.4 volts peak to peak. And I divide that by 2. This is the technique that I use. There are many different ways of doing this. Um, that gives me the centered peak voltage, 2.7. Then I times that by 0.707. Gives me the RMS voltage. Then I take that. I basically square it. 9... And just give me three point that gives me three point six four three then I divide it by I think I've got four ohms divide it by four ohm load and that gives me with point nine watts RMS basically per channel and that concludes this 
video.